With the release of new weapons in Red Dead Online's naturalist update, many wonder if the new weapons are worth it or how do they compare to the similar counterparts. So in this video I will be reviewing the Nitro Express Rifle and the new improved bow for you guys. To get a better insight, I've added timestamps in the description so you can find what you want in the video easier. Also please remember to leave a like if you enjoy these types of videos and consider subscribing if you like to watch gaming content. First let's look at the Nitro Express. This weapon is probably one of my all-time most favorite guns. You might recall it from other games and movies, for example Hunt Showdown, Far Cry 4 and the James Bond movie Skyfall. Some of you also watch me when I play Hunt Showdown and the Nitro Express from Red Dead actually works quite similar to the one existing in Hunt Showdown. You can one-shot other players with a chest or a body shot with this weapon. Arm and leg shots are not a one-shot kill in neither of these games, although the range in Hunt Showdown exceeds to 250 meters for headshots. On Red Dead, it is very limited and it doesn't really travel further than its limited range. So it was really nice to see that my favorite weapon from Hunt Showdown is added to Red Dead Online as well. So let's look at how much they cost and what customization options are available for them. The Nitro Rifle is $580 and you can customize it just like any other weapon with a whole shebang, meaning engravings, gun metals, wrap colors and so on. The ammunition is very expensive for this rifle and you can only carry 20 bullets at a time. For maxing out the bullets at the post office, you have to pay about $100 and each time you refill it, it will set you back for about $2. It's not really breaking the bank, but when you're comparing it to other weapons, it has the most expensive ammunition. Now you might wonder, how is it any different than a typical double barrel shotgun in the game? First of all, the Nitro is not a shotgun. It just fires really thick bullets and it's a very special double barreled rifle. In practice, the double barreled shotgun is actually superior to this gun in many ways. The bloom on the Nitro is insanely high and when you move, it becomes super inaccurate. More than likely, you will miss your shots if you're trying to run and gun with this gun, unless you're using painted black. If the enemy is on potent or special tonics, they will survive nitro bullets with no problems. In close range fights, the only time you will come on top is going to be when your enemy is not using a shotgun or any fancy tonics. But still, it's going to be a salt maker when you take it to showdowns. You can see some of my gameplay to judge for yourself. By the way, you can't crouch when you're using this gun. The recoil will kick drop you on the floor like an adult entertainer in action. Just remember to use painted black to make every single shot count and only paint other players on the torso or the head for maximizing the damage output and guarantee more one shot kills take at least one damage card with you. My recommendation is Landon's Patience, the best damage card in the game. I will go deeper with this in another video in the future. In addition to this card, you can also pair it with peak condition. He's just gonna walk into my nitro. Hello! <laughs> He's gonna be so mad, that guy. Who's bringing explosive bullets in showdowns? <laughs> Says the guy with the nitro. <laughs> A lot of people are gonna get mad, man. But how does it work against animals? Well, Although that it's a hunting rifle for dangerous big game, it doesn't really preserve the carcass or the pelt quality when you headshot animals with it. So if you shoot a 3 star alligator, expect it to get absolutely degraded. So the main purpose of this gun remains unclear. I guess it would be useful to take out legendary animals with it. In bottom line, 
If you're a new player, or you just don't have enough money at the moment, and you're not sure about buying this gun, you could hold on to your cash for now, as you're not losing much by not buying this gun. You can achieve similar and more reliable results from the double barrel shotgun. So let's move on to the other new weapon. Oh boy, the improved bow. You can buy it from the gunsmith or your catalog for $275 and customize it with the color that speaks to you. There's also a Native American looking variant for it, if you're interested. But what I really liked about it was the horn variant from the trapper, Gus. You can buy that one for 12 gold bars and it looks sick. Now you're gonna ask, so John, how is this improved bow compares to the original bow? Well, mostly it's using the same mechanics with minor differences in stamina usage and time to draw. But none of these actually matter. During my testings, I fired two dynamite arrows in the air, one with the OG bow and one with the improved one. To me, it felt like the one fired from the improved bow took a lot longer to land down and explode. So I tested it more off the stream and I had a very interesting discovery. What I'm going to show you now is going to change the freedom PvP forever. The painting range on the improved bow is much longer than the original one. With the improved bow plus dynamite arrows and painted black, pretty much no one can get close to you anymore without getting blown up. You can barely see people on your screen but you're still going to be able to paint them. Here is the precise range difference of these two bows. That black bow thread looks amazing. I like that, <laughs> yeah. I, I still like the beaver too though. <laughs> Okay, so this is the range that I can paint you with a normal bow, not the improved one. So now let's try it with the improved one. Painting, painting, painting. Oh god, yeah. I'm still painting. Oh damn! <laughs> <I got> <laughs> that was me. Painting. That was me. I was hoping I didn't get John. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is the range. This is the range. Okay. Yeah, come paint it even better. Yep. But I wanna see it from the. It's it's a whole bridge. Okay. So as you saw, the painting range is almost twice as long when comparing the two bows. The only hard counter to this is going to be the defensive mode, since it disables the painting altogether. So that's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. Thanks for watching and I see you guys next time.